Evening, folks. Need an assist from a friendly wall crawler? Spider-Man, it's that cat burglar we've been trying to capture all month. We know he's hiding out here someplace. He could be anywhere in these shadows. Hmm, good old spider sense. Okay, guys, the cat's been chased up a tree. Tonight you proved that you're not so bad after all, Spider-Man. In fact, I'm gonna do my best to get you a citation for your heroism. Thanks, officer, but I really can't stick around. <laughs> my uh, aunt wants me to be <laughs> home by 8 o'clock sharp! <laughs> You're right on time. I wouldn't stand up, my favorite girl. Now, what's this surprise you said you were planning for me at 8 o'clock? Just get comfy in your Uncle Ben's easy chair and you'll see. And now, the new adventures of the mighty Avengers. You wanted me home to see a TV cartoon show? Oh, I know how you enjoy adventure programs. And this is one about nice people with strange powers. Not nasty people like that scary Spider-Man. This cozy sail should keep you safe from them, Mr. Cat Burglar. Not too popular with the other cons, are you? So, my cellmate's the notorious chameleon, master of disguise. Judging by the reception you just got, you're somewhat of a celebrity yourself. That's because they know I'm related to the guy who's partly responsible for most of us being here. Oh, well, how's that? It was back in the days when a certain wall crawler was just starting his career. But then all he wanted to be was a big-time TV star. So leave the crook catching of a sucker superhero, Spider-Man. Stick with me, and I'll make you a millionaire. Sometime later, a thief was robbing the house of Ben and May Parker, with old Ben having himself a fatal accident. He might have gotten away with it, except for that crummy wall crawler. He seemed to take it personal. Spinner surprised. The guy who wasted Ben Parker was the same guy he let escape at the TV studio. That's when Spider-Man started using his powers to fight crime. I know all this because that guy was my cousin. The guy who started Spider-Man on his crime-fighting career. Hmm. You know, fate must have made you my cellmate. For a long time, I've been planning to take over New York's criminal underworld. But there's one major element that's forever standing in my way. Spider-Man. But getting rid of Spider-Man by force has always failed. Now, perhaps, there's a more subtle way of eliminating the wall crawler. Ben Parker's nephew, Peter, always manages to get the best news photos of Spider-Man for the Daily Bugle. And Peter lives with his old aunt, Ben's widow, May Parker. Yeah, yeah, how very interesting. to be doing well tonight. Oh, hi, Warden. Thanks, Warden. Hello, sir. I'm going home early, Sam. Yes, sir. See you tomorrow, Warden. So, what happens now, Chameleon? We wait, Colleen, and we plan the extermination of a most meddlesome insect. Me. Uh, but would you mind? 
mind if I sat with you? Please do. I I'm just waiting here for my nephew. My name is Colleen Clark. I come here often. It's so, so comforting since I've been left alone. I understand, Colleen. I'm a widow, too. Yes. Oh, my. But that's a fine-looking gentleman over there. Oh, oh, my stars. It's Ben, my husband, Ben. Ben, dear, wait. Don't go away. Right on time again. Oh. And May, what's wrong? I, I saw your Uncle Ben. He went into the other gallery. Be right back. Uh, sir, did a man just come into this room? Uh, no one at all. Thank you. Maybe your husband's spirit wants to tell you something. His, his spirit? I know a man who might be able to help you. A spirit medium. The great mentor? I'm sorry, Aunt May, but no one saw anyone. I did. I saw Ben. I appreciate your bringing me here, Colleen. Thank you so much. I do hope you find your answer here, May. I'll call you later. Oh, thanks again. The great mentor has been expecting you. You know my name. This way, Mrs. Parker, through the doorway. Oh, thank you, dear. I won't deceive you. Mrs. Clark phoned that you were coming. And why? Please. You wish to contact your beloved husband's spirit. Concentrate on him with all your mind and heart. Okay, mentor, get ready to win an Oscar. Oh, spirit world, I request a sign that you hear me. We wish to contact the spirit of Benjamin Parker. Now concentrate, Mrs. Parker. But because of Spider-Man, I'm not. Because of Spider-Man? Yes, I cannot rest. But there must be some way you can find peace, Ben. Spider-Man must be made helpless and turned over to Mentor. Remember, if not for Spider-Man, I'd be alive today. The psychic contact has been broken, Mrs. Parker. The seance is over, I'm sorry. But perhaps this spirit amulet necklace will help you contact Benjamin again. It is my gift to you, Mrs. Parker. Wear it. Wear it always. That scent, it, it's very pleasant. met Spider-Man. Do you think I might sometime soon? But I thought the wall crawler scared you. Oh, maybe the bugle was fibbing when it said Spider-Man is bad. After all, the police department is giving him an award. Well, if you really want to meet him, how about tonight? Now, he said he'd be here in a little while. Uh, sorry I have to study at the library. I hope you two get along. Won't you come into my parlor? I changed the bulb, Mrs. Parker. That's nice. I've been waiting for Peter to do that for weeks. 
The doctor said one of these would make me sleep. I wonder how many a Spider-Man would have to take. We are homemade cookies and ice cold milk. Mmm, looks good. Thanks, Mrs. Parker. Mm. Here's to you. Here's to you, Ben. Huh? My spider sense. Milk was starting to go bad. And don't forget, you promised to come back. I will. How did that, whatever it was, get into Aunt May's milk? Ah, the old lady blew it. She needs another visit from Ben. Oh, well, tomorrow's another day. All right. She turned in. Give her ten minutes. The hypnotic fumes in the spirit amulet necklace will help make Ben's appearance totally real. May! May, my dear! Ben! Help me, May! Help me to find peace! Until Spider-Man is made helpless, I cannot rest! I'll help you rest, Ben. Remember our motto. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Bye, Aunt May. Say hello to Spider-Man for me while I'm gone. You say the airport? Yeah, but you can let me off at the corner. Sure. Huh? Man. You're the boss, Mrs. Parker. Oh, please, call me Aunt May. Have I got it where you want it? Let me just line it up. Let's see, a little to the right. Sure. A little more. Perfect. Anything else? Hey! What happened? Oh, my heavens. It slipped. Uh, and May, I think maybe we ought to get some fresh air. Yes, good idea. You know someplace I've never been with lots of fresh air? The top of the Statue of Liberty. Huh? Sightseers never get a view like this. How true, Spider-Man. On a clear day, you can see... No, I can't do it. I... I... Oh, I'm slipping! And May! Ah! Never wear slippery shoes on top of the Statue of Liberty. That Parker woman has failed in her every attempt to deal with Spider-Man. It's obvious she needs help. Help that will deal with her as well. Okay, enough's enough. What's happening? Is my dear Aunt May getting... Is she going... Am I going? It's Ben May. Listen carefully. What's that? It will all be over tomorrow, May. Have Spider-Man here a little before 12 noon exactly. I'm trying, Ben, but something always seems to go wrong. Before noon tomorrow, Ben, I will, I will. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Gotta get to the bottom of this. Tomorrow I'll rest. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Hey, where is he? beginning to understand your reputation for rudeness, Spider-Man. But, but, oh, never mind, Aunt May, I am sorry. But nothing will stop me from being here at noon tomorrow, I promise you that. Good. And today, 
the masked crime fighter called Spider-Man receives an award from the New York Police Department. Uh, thanks, everybody. I really appreciate this, but I have to go now. Honest, it, it's very important. Thanks again, guys. I wonder who that is. Oh, somebody left a present. Congratulations, Spider-Man. Why, this must be what Ben talked to me about. I must give it to Spider-Man at exactly 12 noon. There he is, right on time. Press the button. We'll have five seconds to get away. But the old lady, she'll get caught in the... Shut up and drive. All I want to know, Aunt May, is what your special surprise is. But don't tell me. My spider sense tells me this cake isn't for eating. Okay. I'm sure I'd have gotten a big bang out of it, but right now I'm going to get to the bottom of this case. Fast! Double darn you, Spider-Man. May Parker isn't finished with you yet. I think we lost him. Three wrong thinks and you're out. No, you're out. Take our time to fight. There's still dear Aunt May in the meantime. <laughs> Those spirit effects will detain him long enough for us to get away. But the police will spot us. They'll only see the big hero they gave the award to today. Be very careful with that, ma'am. It's deadly on more than little insects. Yes, well, it's a very, very big spider. Then let's make tracks, Spidey. They'd stick around for autographs. Hey, May, my dear, I can't rest. You will now, Ben. Help me, May. Help me to find peace. Remember, if not for Spider-Man, I'd be alive today. If not for Spider-Man. What? You fool! Look! I'm not Spider-Man! Now I know why you wear that mask. Your real face is even scarier. She caught Alfred on the steering wheel. Thank heaven for little spider tracers. Guess that sinks another of your master plans, Chameleon. 
And I'll bet this piece of junk jewelry is the cause of Aunt May's visions. What? What happened? You! <laughs> Hypnogas. Taking advantage of a fine old woman like May Parker is about as low as you can get. And I'll see to it you receive a jail sentence as long as you can get. I really don't remember much, Peter. That awful hypnogas clouded my mind. I just know that Spider-Man, well, he, he... He's not as bad as some people say? No! Whatever gave you that idea. I was about to say he was probably behind it all. Whatever it was. Well, win a few, lose a few. <laughs> <laughs>